All right. So here's here's the uh, the milk and egg section, and you probably notice there's a lot of alternatives to milk, often plant-based. But beware! In my practice, oats cross react with gluten. The protein in oats acts exactly like gluten, and so many of my patients with autoimmune disease and leaky gut who are now using oat milk because it's so good for you, when we take the oat milk away from them, they get better. Well, why not soy milk? Well, the problem is soy milk is completely, ridiculously manufactured. It contains soy lectins, so stay away. What about organic milk? Well, remember, milk is designed to make baby cows grow and grow quickly. Regular milk has as much sugar as a soda pop, and I hope you're not giving your kids sodas for breakfast or pouring soda on your cereal. But in fact, that's exactly what you're doing. Well, what about yogurt? That sounds good. That's really healthy for you. Not. First of all, most yogurts in the store are made from American cows, and American cows have a lectin-like protein called casein A1, and that has been shown to cause leaky gut. But heck, I just need a little snack. This looks so convenient. It says low fat. It says 150 calories. This has got to be good for me. Oops. There's 19 grams of total sugars in this little package. Let me break that down for you. There's four grams of sugar in every teaspoon of table sugar. So let's do the math. There's five teaspoons of sugar in this little package. You go, well, it must be the fruit in there. I'll get the French vanilla. What? There's 20 grams of sugar in here. Exactly five teaspoons of sugar. Can you imagine every day having this little quick snack? And just remember, in the last 40 years, Americans' sugar consumption has doubled. Why? Because a lot of it is hidden in here. You see the word low fat, you think healthy. Uh-uh, this is high sugar. And in fact, Almost every time you see a package that says low fat, I want you to think low fat equals high sugar. Eggs. Now, a lot of people are looking for safe eggs. Believe it or not, the color of the egg has nothing to do with whether it's safe or not. So just because you see a brown egg doesn't make it any healthier or safer. What you really want to see is the word pasture raised. That means the chicken actually went out and ate bugs in a field. Free range does not mean the chicken ever left a warehouse, never got out from inside. That's a law that was passed in 2007. So look for the words pasture raised. That's what you want. And don't necessarily look for the word organic. That just means they controlled the feed and they're giving their chickens organic corn and soybeans. They can't see if the chicken is eating organically out in the field. Maybe that bug isn't organic, but that's what the chicken should be eating. Oh, sparkling water. So. Carbonated water actually has a lot of health benefits, but beware. There's no control except in Italy on the amount of pH, the acid content in sparkling water. So here's a sparkling water from France, very famous, but there is no control in France of what the pH should be. In Italy, if you have a sparkling water, you have to have a normal pH in that water. Some of these waters have pHs of two, which is highly acidic and not great for you. So buyer beware. Try to find San Pellegrino as your water of choice. It also has the highest sulfur content of any water, and it's been rated as the purest water that you can buy, San Pellegrino. Oh, another plant-based food, tofu. 
that's a plant-based food. Got to be great for you. Unfortunately, it's made from soybeans. Now you can detoxify soybeans by fermentation. So for instance, miso uh, is fermented. Miso soup, miso powders are great. Natto, fermented soybeans are perfectly fine. But tofu is not fermented, so it's not a safe food. I have so many of my vegan and vegetarian patients who use a lot of tofu and get sicker and sicker because their leaky gut gets worse and worse. So no to tofu. If you can find them, we're beginning to see purple sweet potatoes in the grocery store. These have, when you cut them open, a dark, dark purple blue color. And as I talk about in the new book, Unlocking the Keto Code, these are polyphenols that actually